Joseph from Graham. Say what's up, America? I think you should know me, right? Hug a half a replica. What's up guys, it's David here, back here with another Forza Horizon 3 video today, and today we are doing Gingium's Turbo Miata. So, I thought we would do this today because I like watching him personally, so I think he's a pretty cool dude, pretty cool dude so make sure you go subscribe to him. So, I already got the paint job for it, as you can see here. I just searched it up on the store. Obviously, it's not perfect yet, so. And we're gonna go make it perfect right now. So, we're gonna go in upgrades. And first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a single turbo in there. Then everything else is fine there. And then for the front bumper, it looks like he has this. So, we're gonna put that on. Now, on the picture, he has a wing delete, and this is the smallest wing that we're going to get, so I guess I'm just going to have to go with this. Mm -hmm. So that one. And then, for the rear bumper, let me see if I can find the picture here of the rear. Picture, picture, picture. Roll off the front. Okay, it looks like he has. Maybe the stock one? Yeah, he has the stock one. Okay. Side skirts. They're already blacked out for us, so we're just gonna leave them stock. And the hood. Looks fine as it is. So that's done for appearance. Now we're going to go into tires. We're going to put some race tires on here. We're going to max out the tire width. And then for wheels. Let me go back to that picture. Okay. So he's got like maybe something in here would work. Maybe something like that. It's kind of hard to see. I think that looks pretty good to be honest. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna go with that for the wheels. Now. We're going to go with um, 16 inch. Either 16 or 15. Let's go with 15. 15 looks better. Okay. Nope. Continue working. Didn't mean to hit that guy. Sorry. So we're going to max out the race clutch. Max out transmission. Just max out the whole drive line. And differential. Now for this, oops, we're just gonna do race brakes. We're gonna lower it all the way down because he has his loader. Low word. Race front and anti roll bars give us more handling. Don't need any of that. And I'm pretty sure he has racing seats in here. And they're probably lighter than the normal seats, so we'll just do street weight reduction. And then we're just gonna put this to the top of A class, I guess. So we'll do race intake, race exhaust. Obviously, you gotta upgrade that turbo. And then the inner core, and then oil and cooling. We still have some more points to work with here. 35 more points. Um, let's do race fuel system ignition I guess that's good right there 799 ok 
Okay, so that's gonna be it for the build, guys. So now we're just gonna go do a couple of races. Make sure to request new cars or like cars that you want to see. So just make sure that you're requesting. Next video will be a ride to video, probably a YouTuber one, like a YouTuber bike, because I like doing this. I just like doing YouTuber builds in general. I think they're pretty cool. So we're gonna back out here. New part car pack is coming out tomorrow for me, but for you guys it will be out. So probably actually probably expect a uh, one uh, on one of the new cars. I did see the video. The Jaguar looks pretty cool. And the Camaro, so maybe one of those. So let's pull up a little bit and let's hear how this thing sounds. Here, let's just get away from the festival. I'll just put it in, uh. We'll just keep it in low rev so you guys can't hear it. Just want to get away from the music. Okay, we'll rev it up here. Cure Turbo. Okay. Could have le left it in the first gear for a little longer there. Now I don't know how much power he has in here. But I would expect probably around like maybe like 270. I think we had 295 in here right now. So it's not that fast. I like driving slower cars sometimes because you're always in the fast cars and sometimes you just get tired of driving the really fast cars. Uh -oh. Yeah, let's not go into the water. Don't want to destroy Jin Jim's car. Got some little corners coming up here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I think his car is probably dead now. Let's see how much boost this thing's making. My guess is maybe around like 15 to 20. 16. It's pretty good. It's an upgraded turbo, so it'll probably be around like 12 if you didn't upgrade it. Because the PSI goes up when you upgrade it. Now, one thing I am noticing is around corners. Here, I'll show you up here. I don't know why it feels, but it feels like the back end wants to kick out. The back end's like really loose. This is on like max tires too. I don't know why it feels like that. I mean, we don't have to have that much power. Maybe we just need to tighten up the suspension maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's look at the settings. Let's look at the tuning. Uh, tune car. Let's see what top speed says we can hit. 170, not that bad. Um, let's put some more camber on here. Let's put two and one. Let's bring it out a little bit. We'll just put two for both. Actually, we'll put 2.5 in the rear. Um, yeah, let's stiffen up a little bit more in the rear. Lower it down all the way. Bump stiffness. We'll put that up a little bit. That looks fine. A little more brakes in the front. 75 and 75. Okay, should be good. Let's see how it does now. Got a corner coming up here. In a couple seconds. Oh, look, there's Air 12 Nick. 
it's not coming out as much now. It's still coming out a little bit, but not as much. I think it's still. And this thing will drift. Should we see if it's drifting? Let's go see if this thing can drift. We'll take it to one of the drift zones. Now, it doesn't have a lot of power, so I'm not going to take it to, like, this one should we do fine. We'll just start here so we can do a little test corner around that long, long sweeping corner. Now, I don't think it's going to do really good along, around the long sweeping corners because, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of power to get the wheels spinning. So like this corner behind us and we turn around for it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. But we'll see. Turbo might help us a little bit. Get some decent speed coming up in here. Well the gears definitely aren't set up for drifting. I mean once you get it, just gotta stay high in the rows. It's not that bad for a first corner. Flip it in here. And that's not that bad for 41,000 so far. Now there's traffic here, so I'm going to watch out. You have arrived at your destination. 58. That's decent, I guess. As you see, I got 118,000. I forget what car I think I. I think I did the RX-7, I think that's how, where I got the most drift points on. Now if we go probably put in like 500 horsepower in here, this thing will drift easy. I mean it's fine around like these corners, if you don't spin out, as soon as I say it's fine it'll spin out. I mean like around there it's fine. So it's pretty decent for drifting. I mean, there's obviously better cars, but if you're like drifting in like a lobby and you can only have a certain amount of horsepower, I mean, it's doing pretty good. Could maybe just use. Oh, the crap! <laughs> it's a stunt car now. I guess it's a stunt car, guys. Okay, maybe not a stunt car. Okay, let's go do a race in this thing. Uh, let's just do this one. I don't feel like taking a long time to find a good race. Okay, guys. So we are going to set up the event. We're going to do an exhibition. Is this off-road? Why is saying do use off-road cars? It's cross-country, okay. See, this is why I need to take time when I'm looking at stuff. Um, I need to stay away from Byron Bay because I race there way too much. That one's cross-country. Let's do this one. I always race in the same spots. I keep saying I'm going to do an off-road car too, and I never do an off-road car. I just can't wait for... Because when they leaked all the DLC cars, um, Porsche is supposed to be coming in, so... I'm pretty excited about that, but I don't know when they're going to be bringing it in. I'm hoping that they're going to be announcing it soon sometime. That car is a beast. This car is a beast. Supercharged. It's pretty lit. Okay, so we're gonna pick Jim Jim's car, and we're gonna go do racing. So I hope you guys are having a nice day. I'm pre-recording this on Monday. This will be coming out Tuesday, as you guys know, because you guys are probably watching the day it comes out. And the day it comes out is Tuesday, March seventh. So I hope you guys are having a nice Tuesday. I'm hoping mine will be nice. My Monday is uh, somewhat decent, I guess. So let's uh, start this race event. 
And let's see how we can do. Okay, got a pretty good launch there, but some wheel spin. But you can't expect that from a rear wheel drive car with some horsepower. Cut the corner a little bit there, but not much. Brake. Brakes are very good due to the upgraded brakes. Race brakes, I should say. Now, this is not the slowest car, but it's not the fastest car. But I enjoy driving. It's nice to have a slow car sometimes. Oh. Snap back. Looks like we're beating them pretty good. And usually I lose races. But it seems like in my past couple of videos, I've actually been doing pretty decent of races. Now his does have LED pop-ups. He doesn't have the stock. Wish we could add some more customization in Forza. Hopefully they'll eventually. I mean, they did go with it, this in Forza Horizon. Does that mean they added like all the different body kits? But I wish you could just customize it like Need for Speed. Okay, it's not a drifting competition, Miata. If you guys want to see, um, no, oh, you just passed me. If you guys want to see a uh, video of his uh, rally car, now I don't know if I should do it yet because it seems like he's still doing stuff with it. I'm just gonna try to block this guy. So if you guys want to see that, remember to like and subscribe because that helps me out a lot. This guy's higher top speed than me. The AI always breaks for that corner there. And you don't have to break for it. Unless you're going like 250 miles an hour. Guess we're getting a little bit sideways here. The Miata is getting a little bit happy. So this car is overall pretty good. Sure, Jinjin likes it. Pretty excited to see what Jinjin does with his rally car. Because I saw he just got new tires. And I didn't watch his new video yet, but when I came home and watched YouTube, it seemed like uh, he got a new bumper or something. I didn't watch the video yet, but I just looked at the uh, thumbnail. And it looks like he got like a new bumper or something. Looks like we're coming to the end of the race here. Looks like I'm gonna take the dub. You've been recording for 18 minutes? Really? Doesn't seem like we've been recording for that long. That's odd. Time flies when you're having fun, right guys? So I guess since we're that far in, I guess that's gonna wrap up today's video. I was going to do another race, but I like to stay between 10 and 20 minutes, because I think that's the sweet spot. So I guess that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Make sure you quest more cars. Make sure you like and subscribe, because that helps me a lot. And Twitter in the description. Make sure you go follow that. Tell you when new videos come out. And update you on some stuff. And have a nice day, guys. Bye.